Decentralized finance, or DeFi, is all the rage these days. It's easy to see why. It's permissionless, censorship resistant, and lets you do th interesting things previously unheard of with traditional finance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can borrow thousands of dollars worth of crypto without collateral using flash loans. First, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and make sure to click the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date whenever I post a new video. Wouldn't it be great if you had a huge pile of cryptocurrency at your disposal to trade and profit like the big dogs? Well, now you can with a fairly new concept called a flash loan. A flash loan is simply a way to borrow large sums of crypto using a smart contract. You don't need any background checks or need to put down any collateral either. There's only one catch. The loan needs to be paid back within a single Ethereum transaction. This sounds kind of useless, but Ethereum transactions are actually pretty powerful under the hood. A single Ethereum transaction can execute a whole handful of operations before it is completed. This means you can initiate a flash loan, perform some operations, and then repay at the end of the transaction. If for some reason the transaction would result in the loan not being repaid, Ethereum is smart enough to detect it and the whole transaction is reverted and it's like the transaction never even happened. A common use case for a flash loan is arbitrage or buying from one exchange and selling on another for a profit. In summary, a flash loan transaction would look something like this. Borrow the funds, buy an asset from exchange A, sell that asset for a profit on exchange B, then repay the loan and keep the profits. One DeFi platform that allows for using flash loans is Aave, and they provide a very simple smart contract for doing so. Let's create a quick and dirty flash loan. First, we need to pull in some dependencies including SafeMath and some contracts from Aave. Then create a contract that inherits from the flash loan receiver base. Next, create some variables for a lending provider and the address of the chain link token contract so we can borrow some link tokens. In the constructor, we need to pass the address for the Aave provider contract for the network we are operating on and the chain link token address. We then call the parent constructor for flash loan receiver base and then save our contract variables. Next, we need to implement a function called execute operation, which takes a token address called reserve, an amount to borrow, a fee paid to Aave, and any extra parameters we may need. We first check that there is enough chain link in the lending pool to borrow. Then we can do our arbitrage. If all goes well, we should have our borrowed chain link plus profits. We then finish by transferring the borrowed amount back to Aave. In order to kick off the loan, we need a separate function. This will simply take the amount and any extra parameters. We create an instance of lending pool and call the flash loan method. With this contract address, the chain link token address, amount we want to borrow, and any extra parameters. And that's it. You can find more detailed documentation for flash loans and Aave's DeFi protocol on their website, linked in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Leave any comments and questions down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.